Hi everyone, it's week number six. It's another week of DNA and genetics, which I love. So let's take a look at what we looked at last week and then what we've got going on this week. So last week we learned about DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, which is the molecule of inheritance or heredity. It determines what type of organism we are and what our traits are as an organism. And then we looked at the technique PCR, which stands for polymerase chain reaction, which is a way to copy over particular segments of DNA many, many times over, a billion times or even more than that, so that you have lots of copies of the DNA and you can characterize it then. That's what's so important about PCR. The information for this week is all about genetics, so the study of genes. The genes determine the traits that we have as organisms. And then how are those genes inherited? And you already know from other things that you've heard before that some genes are dominant, some genes are recessive. And what does that mean? If a dominant trait is present, it is always expressed. If a recessive gene is present, it may be hidden or invisible or it may be expressed if there are two copies of a recessive trait. And then there are other types of inheritance, like um, uh, the sex chrome inherited um, traits and uh, incomplete dominance. There, there are lots of different codominance. There's different types of inheritance. Mainly, we will be looking at strictly dominant and recessive traits, except for that worksheet that you're going to be working on. Um, we're going to be doing Punnett squares. So Punnett squares are an organized way to figure out the different combinations of genes that you will get from different genotypes of parents. Genotype is which genes are present. We'll look at monohybrid crosses. Mono means one. Hybrid means two different types, right? So we're going to look at monohybrid crosses where each parent has a dominant allele represented by the capital T here and a recessive allele, the little t. So each parent has capital T, little t. Okay, when you put those different alleles together, genes together in the offspring, then we're going to see what happens. What are the different offspring that you can possibly get? A dihybrid cross is where you look at di two genes, different genes that are unrelated to each other, and they're both heterozygous, meaning you've got one dominant trait and one recessive trait. So in this case, you'd have a parent that has capital T, capital T lowercase t, capital B, little b, as their genotype, the genes that are present. So one dominant, one recessive trait for each of those two genes, and the other parent is the same way. And so then what happens to the offspring? What types of offspring can you possibly get? We're going to look at this by doing the experiment with the fast plants. So that brings me to the next item, which is germinating your seeds. You have lots of seeds to germinate this week. You have Oh gosh, seven, I think, groups of seeds to germinate. And that means you have to get them germinating out. They're fast plants, so they grow very quickly, and you can see differences in them very quickly. But it takes four days for them to germinate. Oops. And so you have to get this finished by Sunday night, which is only seven days. Um, the middle day there where you're characterizing one set of plants and beginning the next set, you can overlap that day. So you can get this done by Sunday, but you have to get these seeds germinating today. It is imperative that you get them started right now. Uh, you can watch the Punnett Square video or videos. I haven't made them yet to help you with everything having to do with the lab this week. I will put this or these in the announcements. At, um, after this one, so uh, I'll be making that video or videos. <laughs> it depends on if I get stuck and I have to stop my video, whether I make one or more. Um, but watch those to help you get through the lab this week. This will be important because otherwise I'm not sure that you can. Maybe you can from what you've read, but these will definitely help you. 
Okay, and then the biology project worksheet. I want to mention a couple of things about this. This is a worksheet where you need to answer some questions and do some Punnett squares. When you write out the answers or type them out, make sure that I can tell the difference between uppercase and lowercase letters. If I cannot tell the difference, then that is wrong because that means that I don't understand what you've written. Okay, so make sure of that. If at all possible, draw circles around your gametes. You'll see how I do this when I make my Punnett Square video. Um, draw circles around your gametes or sex cells so there aren't any questions about what the gametes are. And space out your answers. They don't give you enough space in this worksheet to type in and write in all the answers, so space them out. But otherwise, everything is way too crowded. The examples that you have that the instructions tell you to do, they're going to take you a lot of time. So I'm just saying, these are examples for you. You're not turning in the, the answers to those. You're turning in the answers to the questions on the worksheet. If you need to use those examples, then go look at them. If you don't need them, I'm not sure that I would do them. But that is up to you. So if you want to do the examples, fine, but they are examples for you. Otherwise, answer the questions on the worksheet. If you get stuck at any point, please email me. I'll have office hours this coming Sunday. This is traditionally a time when I get quite a few questions from students. So don't forget that I have office hours on Sunday at 6 o'clock Eastern Time, 6 to 6.50, because that's when the meeting cuts off. Um, but ask me questions through email or through my office hours if you have any. And other than that, I hope you have a great week this week. It's beautiful weather here in South Carolina right now. The fall is coming and is here, basically. And so I hope you have a great week. Let me know if you need anything.